My project is focusing on uh, studying new genetic driver mutations in acute lymphoblastic leukemia. And so what that means is uh, we know a lot about the different markers in acute lymphoblastic leukemia. And what we're trying to do is figure out which one of those are important um, for treating the disease and classifying different patients into groups where uh, you can better understand the different subtypes and the different groups that they're in. And so that will enable uh, different, better treatments for the, for the children as we go forward. The lab that I joined, uh, they've sequenced uh, genomes of over a thousand different patients. And that data is just the beginning. So what we're hoping to do is be able to take that data and say, we know that now these 20 mutations are important. And they can be important for many different reasons. They can impact the course of their disease and accelerate their disease in different ways that we don't, we don't know about yet. Or they can impact drug sensitivity. So there are, might be a child with leukemia who is not responding to a drug and we don't know why. I really like working on pediatric cancer. I think that you know you can, especially working at St. Jude Children's Citrus Hospital, we interact with the patients and the physicians uh, almost on a daily basis. We all have the same place where we go to eat. Um, we see them in the hallways and you know you, it's not that you feel sorry for them, but you, you're inspired by them to go and keep, continue, you know, go back to work and uh, really delve into your project, especially after you know maybe a parent comes up to you and says, oh really, thank you for what you're doing. I think seeing the patients especially is very, give, gives you a very good perspective on what you're doing at the bench in the lab. And that's especially true when you see that there's an area that isn't being met, you know, clinically because there's no available therapies. And so that, you know, especially if that's one of your areas that you're looking at, you can say, well, that's really an unmet clinical need and now that makes me, you know, work harder to try to fill that clinical need.